exquisite cooking, and harmonizing yoga. Join us as we take the next 30 days to discover a whole new way of living. Welcome back. I think I've stated this before, but part of my intention of putting together online videos is so that people have a chance to begin to create their own practice. When you learn how to make your own yoga practice, then you can act intuitively to the spontaneous feelings within the body. Sometimes your body might want to go slow, sometimes fast, sometimes forward bend, sometimes back bend. And it's only when you've developed your own practice will you be able to adjust according to the body's needs. If you're doing a pre-designed or group class, it's hard to accomplish this. So today we're going to look at how to do a standing flow practice. So we'll integrate some standing postures into our flow series. So the base flow series, you have two, and I'll just demonstrate both really quick. Start out with the hands to prayer, then reach the hands up and arch back, lean forward. Then from here, step or jump the feet back. This is the first variation. You can come into upper push-up if you're less flexible, knees to the ground. Then chest down, hips high, otherwise chaturanga, hover above the earth. And from here, moving into a cobra pose. From cobra, we move back into Ardhamukha Svanasana, or downward dog. Then we step or jump the feet forward between the hands, and then raise all the way up, hands lifted, and then finish with hands of prayer. Second option, reach up, Arch back, fold forward, and then step or jump back, this time into downward dog. Then from here you transition either to knees, chest, chin to the ground, or into chaturanga, then down into cobra, or upward dog, back into downward dog, and then forward, raise back up, and release. So typically we would add one of the standing postures once we've made ha halfway through the flow series. So it would look like this. Well, you have a couple options. We'll do the most typical one first. So hands begin at prayer, then you arch back, then you lean forward, step or jump the feet back into the downward dog, then cobra. Then back into downward dog. Now when we get back to downward dog, here's where we move into a standing pose. So I'm gonna come into warrior two, step the foot forward in between the hands, and then raise up into the warrior pose. Hold for one to five breaths, then release. Come out, go back into downward dog. Knees, chest, chin to the ground, cobra. Back in the downward dog. Now the opposite side. My right foot's going to step forward. And then I'm going to come into Cobra, or Warrior 2 here on the opposite side. Same length. Releasing. Back. Downward dog. Cobra. Downward dog. And then I did both sides. So I can move back, standing, feet forward in between hands, raise up, and release. So you can integrate any of the standing postures in that area that we just did the warrior two pose. Another option is to introduce the standing posture in the very beginning. So I'm gonna do tree kanasana, or tree pose, and you can see how this one's a little bit different. So start with the hands of prayer, then reach up, arch back, lean forward, and then from this forward bend position, I'll move into my Trikonasana. So footsteps back, and then I'm gonna open into tree pose. From here, I'm gonna release back into downward dog, make my transition, knees, chest, chin, Come forward and up, back, downward dog, opposite leg. It's gonna come forward. And I'm gonna go to the opposite side of Trikonasana. 
then I'll step forward into my forward bend and come to standing. Arms raised and release. Then I would just want to balance, counterbalance. So this time I'm going to start on the opposite side. Raise up, push back, and forward. Now opposite leg, left leg's going to go back first. Raise up. Then downward dog. Cobra. Back into downward dog. Left leg forward. Raise up, Tree Kanasana. Then into the forward bend. Raise up and release. So these are just a few examples of how you can begin to design your own flow practice. Of course, there's thousands of variations and we'll take the time to look at some of these variations in the future. But this is the groundwork. Once you have this down, then we can move into more advanced sequencing. Thanks again for watching and namaste.